and then it's going to use that energy to, to accelerate back where it's going to stop again, where the accumulator charges again, and then it's going to accelerate its way back to the truck. And you can see how it works. Think of it as a, as a pendulum swinging back, swinging back and forth, or a clock spring winding and unwinding. It's just, it, it really is, we're using the kinetic energy in the swing, and as we're slowing down, instead of burning that energy off across the brake, we're loading that accumulator up with pressure. We're compressing that inert gas. And then when we want that energy, we release it and accelerate back to the point, to the, uh, to the position we want to be in, slow down, charge it, and now we're releasing it to come back to the digging position. That's, yeah, that's based fundamentally how this, how this works. Pretty simple concept. Great simple concept. It's one of the reasons I can explain it. It's so simple. Difficult to execute, especially controllability. How do you get a smooth enough flow back in and out so that you can manage so that you can manage to carry a load 